Hey, Jan GPT, go to roofingsolutionsoftexas.com and write a two sentence personalized outreach message that I as a web designer can use and send as an Instagram DM or as a cold email. Oh, and also get me their phone number, email address, and all of their social media links. So now what ChatGPT is going to do is it's going to go to this website, roofingsolutionsoftexas.com, or as many websites as I wanted to. So I'm going to feed it hundreds of websites. I'm gonna show you that in this video, and it's going to scrape the website itself, which means it's going to get all the information that it needs to create automated, personalized, outreach messages. And so let's go to JanGPT 4.0 and show you how it does this. Let's say we're gonna use this website, roofingsolutionsoftexas.com. Then we can just put in a simple prompt. Uh, I'm a web designer. Can you go to the website, roofingsolutionsoftexas.com and create a personalized first line for an outreach message that focuses on one of their testimonials? Now, an important note is that the prompt is the most important factor of ChatGPT and this will determine how good of a result you're going to get. But this is just for demonstration purposes. So let's just take this as an example and look at this. Hi, Terry. I was impressed by Morgan family's testimonial praising your transparency and dedication throughout their roofing process after a heavy hailstorm. It's clear that roofing solutions, blah, blah, blah. And let's have a look at the actual testimonial that it found. So this is the website, right? That is scraped. And then if we go to the bottom, here we go. Terry was my primary contact throughout the process of getting a new roof after a heavy hailstorm. And he was excellent to work with. This is truly incredible. It can now go to websites and I'm gonna show you how you can do this with hundreds of websites, go through information and create a personal message that is almost ready to go. But let's say we have a list of multiple companies and websites. This can also be 100, but I thought I'd just quickly show this with seven. We can then put that into a Google Sheet so it, or a, a Google Doc or also a Google Sheets uh, sheet. And then we can download this as a PDF. And then we would upload that into ChatGPT because of course it has the new capabilities. And then what we would do is enter this prompt. And here we go. It is now getting the phone numbers, the email addresses that has a website on the left side, company name, personalized message. Again, the personal message is just a very, very rough example. You can change the prompt to however you want. And there we go. The only thing that it didn't do is get the social media links. I'll show you how to do that in a second because sometimes it doesn't really want to do everything at once. And now we can say, get me all of the social media links, please. Let's be nice. And there we go. We have a list of Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Now, one thing I do want to note is that for some companies that don't have LinkedIn or the Facebook page doesn't always work. So I would suggest you use Instagram but it also depends on your niche. As you can see with this uh, ASAP Roofing Construction, right? This is a uh, valid Instagram. However, with the Facebook page, this is what I get. Okay, this one actually worked, which is quite weird. Let's take another one. There we go, so Stellar Roofing, it says this. This content isn't available at the moment. So I don't know if the page doesn't exist or if there's an issue with Facebook. I just wanted to be transparent that you know that Facebook accounts can be a bit of an issue, but Instagram accounts work, LinkedIn accounts work for specific niches. Now, one thing that you might notice is that I have a lot more companies or websites to scrape than I just had before. And one thing that I did to do this is this prompt. We can now get leads directly from ChatGPT. I don't know if this was possible before, but look at this. We can go to, or we can just say, give me a list of 50 roofing companies in Austin, Texas, please. Oh, and their websites. And there we go. This is quite amazing. We now can do lead generation within ChatGPT. We can scrape their websites for social media accounts and links. And then we can create personalized outreach messages that gets the information directly from the website itself. And there we go, 50 websites that we can then go through and look if they're good to reach out to. So let's just take this one. Alpha Team Roofing, it's a valid website. And here we go, another one. This could actually need a new website. So uh, cast contracting, there we go. Somebody wants to get this lead. Uh, let me know actually in the comments if you reached out to this one. Now what we can do is we can tell ChatGPT to create a personalized message for every single one of these websites. I'm a web designer and would like to reach out to these companies, create a two sentence personalized outreach message for every website that includes something specific to them, such as a specific review, quote, 
or values, etc. Don't be general and don't sell my services. And there we go for the 50 leads. It is now creating outreach messages that are personalized. It went through the website and created something. Now, again, this is a very, very general idea. I just wanted to show you how it works. You can make this, you know, be four sentences long and then it can include a uh, complete review on one of their websites, which will then really help with the personalization of this message. But let me just show you some. For Wilson Roofing, your long-standing presence in the community and glowing reviews about your professionalism are truly impressive. The feedback highlighting your prompt and reliable service really stood out. This, in my opinion, is awesome. And again, this is a super basic prompt, but look at this. Uh, your high standards for quality and customer satisfaction are evident in your reviews. The feedback highlighting your attention to detail and friendly service was particularly impressive. Let's go to the top now. Let's take this one for Raise the Roof ATX. Your innovative approach to roofing, especially your use of sustainable materials, is inspiring. I admire your dedication to environmental responsibility. So in the end, this can now go through hundreds of websites, basically read everything, create a personal message that you can use for your outreach strategy. And it can also get all of the contact information directing ChatGPT and give you a list, right? So as you can see right here, I asked for 50 companies in Texas and it gave me 50 companies in Texas with their website. If you did like the video, I actually have a school where we have a lot of awesome things. We have completely free Go High Level software, yet you get free Go High Level with with pre-built automations. One actually uses AI to speak to potential clients and actually nurture, uh, nurture leads in Instagram, Facebook, and phone numbers. You get those pre-built in your free Go High Level that you get in the school. We also have a classroom with a lot of content and a lot of resources. Let me show you the resources actually. So this is the resources section. As you can see, we have a lot of resources. And then in the outreach section, we have my Instagram scripts that have been proven and that have been getting clients through Instagram. Uh, cold email is coming soon as well, on LinkedIn as well, uh, et cetera, et cetera. We have eight monthly calls and a community of freelancers and agencies that are growing together. And yeah, link is in the description as well. That is it for me. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you want to like, that'd be great. If you want to subscribe, awesome. Here, here are a couple of videos with ChatGPT that I think are going to help you for lead generation as well. And one more thing, do not forget to maximize your luck. Bye.